Good evening, everyone. Sean here with my Fluval 2.6 gallon spec 3 reef tank. That's right, salt water. And about 12 days ago, I'll count the days down, I cycled the tank with Biospira on a Saturday, and it's been about 12 days since then. So it's been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we are on day 12 of the Biospira cycle. And what I've noticed is I just did another water test. And between some things that I'm seeing in the tank and some of the results from the water test, I believe my tank has cycled um, as far as the ammonia and nitrate phases go. Um, I'm still heavy on nitrate, so tonight I'm going to be doing a major water change, um, probably 50%. And I will be going away for a few days. So I'll be tasking my roommate with uh, feeding the creatures as I'm gone. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what's in the tank. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm watching YouTube videos up here of other uh, posters. And... What we have going on right now is I've got a bunch of sexy shrimp. My four sexy shrimp came in, so I have now a total of six in the tank. So one of my concerns is that the coral banded shrimp seems to be kind of curious about the new sexy shrimp. He's seen the other two. Uh, there's a little one sitting next to him. So the four I got today from my friend John at the LFS um are real tiny so there's one right there he is super tiny and there's a really small one up on the rock next to a larger one i'll try to get an angle here from the top you can see the one on the top there so i can count six of them in the tank somewhere or other so there's number one number two next to the coral band number three and number four on top of the rock and number five and six are there's two there I believe So they're just hanging out. So if you guys have any uh, information regarding coral band shrimp and sexy shrimp, I'd appreciate it. I'm wondering if they're in any danger or if they will get along. The coral band seems to be fairly young and uh, doesn't seem to be um, aggressive at all. Maybe just a little curious about the other inhabitants. He's sitting right there. Uh, with the hermit crab in front of him. By the way, the hermit changed shells today. Uh, it was the smaller one, I believe, that uh, sh shedded the, the circular shell. So it looks like the hermit has grown and has taken up new residence. And uh, Pac-Man, the clown goby, um, has been hanging out underneath the rock, the main live rock on the ground. So he's liking the, um, the shelter under there seems to be content and he has been moving around um, the tank uh, quite a bit so he seems to be fitting in just fine so after I finish this video I will be doing one more major water change before I leave for a mini vacation and um, hopefully the tank will have cycled fully uh, by the time I get back oh whoa yep 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but he is chasing the sexy shrimp. So, <clears throat> that might mean that Mr. Coral Band will be going in my 10 gallon while I'm gone. Yep, he is going after the sexy shrimp. So I don't know if he's trying to figure out what it is or if he's trying to eat it. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research before I take him out, but looks like, um, I don't know, I don't want to have him become food. Oh yeah, Mr. Pac-Man is floating. He's been doing that a lot lately. Really cool when the Clown Gobi does that. And so um, while we're looking over in this direction, there is some blooming here on the uh, inside of the tank. So um, algae is starting to grow. So that is a good sign. Alright, so, there's my big screen up there, and this nice little tank is looking awesome. So, some some of the upgrades I'm considering for this um, Fluval Spec 3 uh, Pico reef tank is I'm looking into um, getting the in-tank um, media tray. Um, if you order that, you also get the um, the... <clears throat> skimmer that clips on to the vent at the top there and it's a movable skimmer so you can use it to break up the, the water flow and break up the nutrients that are floating on top I also picked up some of the uh, these little starfish at the um, at another LFS uh, they were selling them for four for a dollar and what I've noticed is they've um, been hanging out at the water line and um, skimming the water um, very similar to what my um, chocolate sea star does in my 125 gallon downstairs so um, looks like the um, starfish there are um, finding a way to to snack on um, some of the nutrients and some of the other stuff in the water so that's the update for now and um, <clears throat> If you guys have any comments about the relationship between the coral banded shrimp and the sexy shrimp, uh, it would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching my video.